somebody wanted to scare him and they took it too far and arrested him. First and all new at 11, he says he did nothing wrong, but Clay County deputies say he was obstructing traffic during a protest Thursday afternoon, so he was arrested and booked into jail. Good evening and thank you for staying up with us on this Friday night. I'm Heather Crawford and I'm Anthony Austin. Tonight we have the video of the altercation and his lawyer calls the arrest a quote scared tactic. On your side's Robert Bradfield explains for us tonight. For the past week, you could find Kevin Connor on the streets of Clay County waving his flag and wearing his Black Lives Matter t-shirt. But on Thursday, Connor's actions, according to Clay County deputies, please record, please landed record. him in jail. You're going to listen and we're going to follow state statute. Connor recorded his conversations with deputies who, according to the arrest report, was impeding traffic on County Road 220. Connor was asked several times to stay out of the roadway and discontinue to obstruct the view of turning motorists. The report says he refused. Deputies could be heard telling Connor where he could stand. After a few minutes, he was put in handcuffs. I need you please, sir, to name the crime that's been committed. What are you arresting me for? Said that I stepped out and cars had to go around me. That's completely not true. I'd love to see any video that says that. It's not true at all. Connor and his attorney, John Phillips, spoke to First Coast News after Connor's release from jail Friday. Phillips says the arrest was baseless and wants the charge of resisting an officer without violence thrown out. He wasn't arrested for walking out into a street or, or um, uh, an illegal protest. He was arrested for resisting without violence. And in the video, you'll see the officer clear as day say, if you don't comply, I'm going to arrest you. And he immediately puts his, for, 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 for resisting without violence, he immediately puts his hands behind his back. Connor says his free speech was taken away, but he and Phillips say they will not be intimidated. The sheriff's office had no comment when asked about Connor's arrest. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.